Well, curiosity killed the cat, and the pad, that little pad that fell off the the disc pad, the bonded pad fell off, so I took it apart, riveted it on with a couple of rivets. Got had to find out what was going to happen. I'm completely out of the garage this time. First time it's ever come out of the garage on its own. You can see what it done to the gravel. Got one side of the cleats put on. You can see where it was digging in. There's the flat side where it was just mashing the gravel in. There's the cleated side. Stared the gravel up pretty bad. Huh? You know, when I get this thing done, there won't be no way in this world to, to run it in your yard. You'll tear your yard all to pieces. I've done a number on this concrete, too. But, with as ever build, run into problems again. Uh, the belt went to slipping. I had to double the belt. So I just brought it back in, put it on the put it back up on the jacks, starting on the uh, starting on the cleats on this side, go ahead and get that done. Probably gonna have to double up the belt on the front. I think the big pulley that I've got will relieve that. I really do. It'll slow it down, give it more uh, more to grab a hold of. So, and these little disc brakes are going to work. Both of them work. The way I got them mounted, so I just went ahead and put the motorcycle handle grip up here because I wanted to test them both. You can pull back, and which activates the drums, it'll turn it. Or you can mash here, and that'll turn it. You can mash them both, and uh, that obviously will turn it. So at least we're finally over the turning hump. I'm going to lower that disc down just a little bit, although there are going to be a uh, bogey wheel up there holding the track off of it. That's pretty close. Pretty doggone close. I think about a half inch uh, between the caliper and the track chain. So be no problem lower that down. No problem at all. And I'm going to go ahead and get the cleats put on it. You can see what the cleats look like. That's all it needed. Any higher and it would have been overkill. It's overkill as it is. Man, the tracks are bad to the bone. I was taking so much power to turn them, man. It just it's, this thing's heavier than you think it is. Far heavier. Just simple mathematics in my head here. The rear end, I know for a fact, weighs 200 pounds. Then all four wheels weigh 40 pounds each. Uh, the tracks, uh, I weighed them on some bass scales, and the best I could get was 150 pounds each on them. Uh, the blade that's going to go on it, I think just the blade weighs 50 pounds. And there is a ton of metal in the frame. That thick angle iron. I'm going to guess it weighs right now about 800 pounds right now. If you set it on a scale, it would be 800 pounds or more. Probably more. The motor, ain't even counting the motor. You know, it weighs probably 100, 150 pounds. Alrighty, I'll tell you, man, in this undercarriage that I built the slide the slides out of, you know the slide and front end. That stuff is heavy. That little short piece right there is is heavy, heavy, heavy. And there's a bunch of that under there. Length of the tractor. Then it's got some going across. So just probably just that undercarriage weighs 100, 150 pounds. Oh well, guys. Um, I didn't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not disappointed. It worked. I went out of the garage. I've only got brakes on the right side, so it wasn't much fun trying to operate it. But I did make it out. You can see where I turned on the concrete, even with the cleats. I just didn't feel like making a video of it because it's just, I want it operating perfect. It's going to take them tracks a while to break in, too. They're tight. They're tight on them, on them teeth. And uh, with them cleats, now it's making a clink, 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 clink like a real bulldozer. It wasn't doing that before I put them cleats on it. Maybe a new belt up here in the front. That belt is old, no telling how old that belt is. It come off the lawnmower. I, when I bought the pulley and stuff at the junkyard, that's the same old belt. So when I get that big pulley on it, it slows it down, you know, slows the spinning down even slower. With a new belt, I'm going to have to buy a new belt anyway because it will require a much longer belt. I believe that will take care of that. If it don't, we know how to double the belt. It's just going to take a while, guys. Whenever you, whenever you build something like this, it's just there's just bugs you got to get out of it. And I'm running into them. But I will do this. I'll finish it. If it takes me 25 more years, I will do it. Let me get off this, get this camera turned off where I can get started on these cleats. Finish this side up. 
and a lot of y'all that had the idea of one cleat per other other pad you had it nailed perfect it wouldn't look right with a, with a cleat ever pad that looks like an actual bulldozer track uh, I'm glad I, I listened to you I, I, I just I wanted to put one ever pad but it it would have been defeating the purpose you know they wouldn't have had time to dig in or you know as well as they do that you know far apart like that all right guys I'm gonna get at it y'all have a good one hope you enjoy this little this little uh, video a lot of you like these little catch-up videos just see what's going on I'll write you later bye-bye